Mouse is not only a graphic novel, a biography or an autobiography, it is a survival story. The graphic novel genre is one of the aspects of postmodernism. Mouse, by Art Spiegelman in particular, shows that a controversial topic that has been written a lot of times, like the Holocaust, can be seen from a different perspective and a different approach. This different approach does not only come from the genre of the work, but also the symbolism of the characters and their faces. There is no other horror than the Holocaust in the 20th century. It impacted the whole world and the ramifications will continue forever. Art Spiegelman is interviewing his father, Vladek Spiegelman, a Polish Jewish survivor from the Auschwitz concentration camp in Maus. As a son of a survivor, he witnesses the horror as well as the audience in his artwork. Symbolism in Maus In the graphic novel, Maus, the characters have animal faces and these animal faces are determined by race. For instance, Germans are depicted as cats, Jewish people depicted as mice, and Polish are depicted as pigs. This is coming from the Nazi ideology that categorizes different races as subhuman and superior. Therefore, the animal faces in Mouse symbolize the race issue and the life of different ethnic backgrounds in Nazi Germany during the 1940s. As one may conclude, the novel is about racism. However, it is not only about that. This is not an academic piece about Auschwitz or racism in Germany. This novel is about people. It was a paradigm-shifting book. Afterwards, comics were no longer jejun adventures for kids, blah, 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 and so every new comic book must be compared to it. Mass culture is so fucking stupid. It says that what's important about Mouse is that it's about the Holocaust. Sure, Mouse cuts through a lot, Suddenly, you could write about really serious things in a comic, but in the caricature version that ended up as meaning that things always had to be ponderous, I suppose you could say the rest of my life has been spent figuring out how to walk around it. A quote from Art Spiegelman. Why Mouse, Pig and Cat? Moreover, the mice and pigs are associated with being dirty and unwanted in the living area. This issue, and how race depicted and portrayed in the novel with these certain animals, suggests that graphic novels show the ideology and the perception of the Nazi era. Depicting the oppressed as mice or pigs, and the oppressor as cats, firstly, it justifies the action of the oppressor, which is also done by the Nazis during the 30s and 40s by the propaganda. Pages from 50 to 58 are particularly about the concentration camp Auschwitz, and the harsh environment of the camp on the individuals like Vladek and his wife Anya. While the people in the camp portrayed as mice and sometimes mice with pig masks, Germans are depicted as cats. On page 50 this can be seen when one particular person claims he is actually a German. This difference in animal species can be seen as how racism can be expressed through animals. In nature, cats are associated with catching mice, and the cleaner of the house from the dirty animals. Secondly, choosing unwanted species creates an anti-sympathy towards oppressed people. However, Mouse, as a postmodern text, actually shows the otherwise. It uses the ideology and a portrayal of the people by the Nazis during the 1940s, but at the same time, using individual aspects of the characters and genre of the graphic novel to show a completely different perspective. Overall, this is not a book review. One cannot review or comment on the lives of others. Mouse is an experience. Mouse is a masterpiece that is not only about the story itself, but in terms of literature in general as well. This is one of the best representations of the postmodernism genre. Reading Mouse, one does not hate or other the mice, but feels sympathy towards them and blames the cats for it. Yet Mouse even shows that not every cat is the same, and some show sympathy towards Vladek, which also shows that one cannot generalize a trait or an action towards a certain group, but every individual is different from another. It is not about sides, but it is about dissolving the sides. Therefore, it is more than the story it tells. In a world where conflicts are rising in every country, in every corner, Mouse is a timeless novel that you should definitely read.